Good evening. My name is Paul Watts. I'm the founder and owner of Graffiti Removal Services. The GRS is the nation's first completely mobile graffiti removal franchise. I'm here this evening asking for an investment of $350,000 in exchange for 15% ownership of my company. Back in 1998, I was employed with the city of Sacramento as a facility maintenance painter. But it wasn't until a Saturday morning when I was volunteering for a community cleanup that I noticed a huge sense of civic pride. And it was at that moment I had an idea that I could create a service that could not only benefit the community I was living in, but also make a little part-time money on the side. Today, I'm going to show you how graffiti can be removed easily and effectively with a biodegradable product that's non-toxic and non-damaging. Our proprietary products can be applied to the graffiti safely, effectively, and easily. So Paul, I'm impressed. Thank you. But why are the trucks here? Is the business your proprietary chemical? The business is the graffiti removal system, not the product. The product is proprietary. It complements the business. It works hand in hand. But you invented that product. No. I invented the yeah. system. The product comes from uh, another manufacturer. It's proprietary to us. You can't own a GRS franchise without using this product. Because but can it, anyone else get that product without the GRS franchise? Not in a retail outlet. They could buy it from the manufacturer, but they don't know about it. So I get the civic duty piece, and that's great. But what about your duty to make money for investors? How would I make money giving you $350,000? Off royalty fees and franchise fees. Have you sold any franchises? No, sir. I've only been approved the last month and a half. Have you got any revenues at all? Yes, sir, I do. I have my company-owned location in Sacramento that now generates $230,000 a year. What are you netting out of that two thirty? Seventy-five thousand. dollars Paul, how much does it cost me to start up, to buy the truck, buy the machine? Like, that stuff's got to cost a lot of money. Our low end to get into a GRS franchise is $60,000. Sixty grand. Okay, I, I, I buy that there's a business here. Yeah, I buy here, it. All but, right? But the problem is, you're telling me that I get 15% of your business for $350,000. I multiply what the whole business is worth based on what you're telling me 15% is worth, and that's over $2 million. Yes, sir. And you haven't sold one franchise yet. No, I base that off my company location in Sacramento and the rate of growth. It's a huge number you're throwing out here. $2 million, you haven't sold one franchise yet. I mean, does that really make sense? So what would you think a fair price would be? I think I get 110% of your business for $350,000. I think the franchise is already developed, it's already approved, and the company has no debt. What I don't get here is the guy you sell, or the woman you sell, who drives that truck, how are they going to convince a municipality to even change their ways and try a new product in a government system that's nothing but red tape? I don't get that, I don't buy it, and for that, I'm out. Paul, I have a fundamental problem. Your success is gonna be based on you getting franchise fees paid on a monthly basis, okay? Once you put a guy into this business, why is he gonna send you a check every month? He knows the business, he's getting his accounts, what does he need you for? And I, I don't think the franchise concept is gonna work for this business. On that note, I'm out. You have nothing proprietary here, not, not the sh machinery, not the idea, or not even the chemicals. I'm sure sooner or later, as soon as you make this more popular, that chemical company is going to make it available for retail so I can just go and pick up that bottle for $2, spray the crap on it, and wipe it away. And with that, I'm out.